Hello and welcome to Cabsat TV for 2018 at the Dubai World Trade Center. With me now from Dolby Laboratories, I have uh, Pankaj Kedia. Welcome to uh, Cabsat TV. Thanks, Andy. Uh, you are taking part today in a, a conference discussion about emerging markets and the, the transformation for 4K and high dynamic range imaging. Dolby traditionally, though, I would see as audio. So why are you taking part in that? True. I mean, Dolby traditionally has been uh, involved in the audio industry and we've transformed uh, the music industry initially with some of our noise reduction technology. We then went on to revolutionize cinema experiences and bringing that, that cinema experience to the living room. So true, we've been very involved for audio for several years, very identified with audio. Uh, but for the last 10 years, we have been working on research uh, on video to figure out what's the next experience with video. And you know, we were looking at it in terms of you know, there are a lot of people working on the higher resolution, so much more pixels in an image. People have been working on putting in, you know, faster pixels, so high frame rates. But the area that we've, uh, you know, researched very extensively has been uh, HDR, high dynamic range, and uh, how that can really make a difference to that experience. And the, the view we come from is that how does it enhance the storytelling process, uh, you know, What's, how does the enhanced realism of HDR affect, uh, st you know, enable storytellers, bring new story, you know, new tools to storytellers, and then enhance that overall experience for the consumer. So it's been an area of interest and uh, an area of research that we've been very actively involved for the last 10 years now. And how is the industry uh, adapting to this new technology? Are they embracing this? They are, they are, and, and various parts of the industry are adopting it. So if you look at the device manufacturers, you have television OEM, OEMs who are pushing this very aggressively with part of their UHD 4K televisions. Uh, it's kind of becoming a standard in all of the 4K TVs. So globally, on, uh, out of the 250 million TVs that get sold every year, around 40% are already 4K and UHD. And that's expected to grow quite considerably. Uh, and you know, the, la the segment that's growing the fastest in television is the 50 to 59 inches segment and that's where UHD 4K enhance the experience quite considerably. They probably will not do that on the 32 inches or the smaller sizes but on the larger sizes we do. And then you have ecosystem players like Apple. Uh, so Apple brought in HDR Dolby Vision into their products uh, end of last year uh, and they you know and you know just if you see the change that's going to bring in at the end of last year we had about 5 million devices in the globally with Dolby Vision mm -hmm. HDR and at the end of 2018 that number is going to jump to about 200 million just on the back of Apple. So and you know and Apple is an ecosystem player because they don't want to do devices but they have services, they, you know, they have content so it's a big player and then if you look at content creators like Netflix, uh, Netflix has over 200 hours of HDR content on their service and their stated goal is to make that available across all of the original content. So that could be easily getting into the about 600 hours of content. So uh, it is it is evolving. Uh, there's a lot of adoption happening. Uh, different people are, the big question is around monetization as to how do you monetize HDR? What's the business model? And there are various approaches. So some people are looking at uh, providing more into the existing tiers by providing 4K and HDR. Uh, and then others are looking at creating new tiers. Uh, for their content, you know, enhance the offerings, higher prices. So okay. It depends. Yeah. And uh, very briefly, uh, with the crystal ball, uh, what challenges do you think the industry is going to have in 2018? So, in, like the adoption of all new technologies, I think there are three areas to really focus on. One is the infrastructure. The infrastructure needs to get built out. Uh, and there are challenges because there is a lot of change required in the infrastructure. We could be talking from uh, transmission infrastructure, content creation infrastructure, and also some of the delivery infrastructure like set-top boxes and television screen. So there is there is a, there's an, and that's a big investment area where that investment that infrastructure has to change. Uh, the second is around know-how because people have to understand how to use mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. because not just better images or more resolution or more detail, but how do you use that to tell a more engaging, a more compelling story? I mean. How do you engage the audiences better uh, using technology? So, storytelling is very important. Get the know-how to to you know go across the industry in different parts 
that has a cycle and there's a lot of training required for that. People have to get familiar, uh, so like life sports uh, and different areas have different challenges. And thirdly? And thirdly is business models. Mm -hmm. So what's the business driver for doing this? So do you, as I said, do you retain customers by offering more? Or do you acquire new customers? Do you upsell and charge more? So all of these models, you know, are where I think a lot of things will evolve and become clear. Okay. Thank you for your insights. Thank you Good very much. Good to have much. you here. Thank now, for the latest, of course, on everything CAPSAT, all our interviews and the latest news, get online now at capsat.com.